Mourners gathered in Lower Manhattan to remember the thousands of lives lost in the September 11th terror attacks 22 years ago today. James M. Amato. Joseph Amatuccio. In keeping with tradition, family members read aloud the names of loved ones who were killed. My sister, Jody Tepedino Niccolo. We miss you, Jody. We love you. Your light still shines as bright as it ever did. At the Pentagon, an American flag was unfurled and Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin took part in a wreath laying to honor the nearly 200 lives lost there. The men and women of the Department of Defense will always remember. And in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, relatives left flowers at the memorial wall for victims of United Flight 93. The plane crashed when passengers tried to overtake the hijackers. Back here in New York, the fire department, which lost 343 members that day, continues to lose members even now. First responders are dying from illnesses stemming from the rescue and recovery efforts at Ground Zero. World Trade Center illness is very real. Uh, we lose so many people to it, um, and early prevention and detection and treatment is key. As family members grieve, they hold true to their enduring message to never forget. Jared Hill, CBS News, New York.